Hello dear viewers, the Chevrolet Silverado comprises a lineup of trucks produced by General Motors under the Chevrolet brand. It made its debut in the 1999 model year, serving as the replacement for the long-standing Chevrolet CK model line. Derived from the highest trim level of the Chevrolet CK series, the Silverado is available in various configurations, including full-size pickup trucks, chassis cab trucks, and medium-duty trucks. The Chevy Silverado is incredibly popular in the United States. Despite its popularity, owners of this well-loved pickup truck have witnessed issues during the years. In this video, I've listed out nine common issues witnessed by owners of the Chevy Silverado and what you should do to rectify these issues. In 2019 and 2020, certain Silverado trucks were susceptible to engine fires, particularly those equipped with carpeted floors. General Motors responded by recalling over 640,000 Silverado and GMC Sierra trucks. During this period, the company also implemented a stop sales order until they could address the issue. There are two possible causes identified for the fire issue on these GM vehicles. These are pretensioner gas and leaking oil cooler line issues. In the case of the pretensioner gas, when a crash happens and the pretensioner activates, the hot pretensioner gas might vent through the bracket and ignite the carpeted floor. Also, if one of the truck's oil cooler lines leaks into the engine and ignites, it can lead to a fire. Replacing the faulty line can prevent emergencies. Fortunately, GM is willing to fix the cars of those owners affected with this issue for free. Car owners should take their Chevy or GMC pickup to the dealership, where a technician will seal the opening in the pretensioner free of charge. The latest Silverado models feature cutting-edge infotainment systems powered by Android. These systems seamlessly connect to drivers' mobile devices. While they offer convenience for drivers who want to stay connected, they also receive numerous complaints. These include faulty radios, issues with Bluetooth calls, reverse camera problems, and bad touch screens. In the case of radios, the systems fitted in 2018 to 2020 Silverados have been problematic. They might unexpectedly jump to the maximum volume, posing a safety hazard. Additionally, many drivers have encountered issues where the radio frequently cuts out. Another widespread issue witnessed in these particular Silverados is a continuous ringer sound during phone calls using Bluetooth. Drivers have found a temporary solution by turning off the car, opening and closing the door, and then switching the ignition back on. These models also exhibited a reverse camera issue. Some drivers have observed that the reverse camera image remains active for up to a minute after shifting into drive. Besides the above-mentioned issues, many customers have reported a glitching or otherwise unresponsive touchscreen. In order to resolve these issues, you can try to reset the truck's computer by disconnecting the battery and allowing it to rest for about a minute before reconnecting it. Once it's back on, press and hold the radio's power button for approximately 5 seconds. If you are still experiencing issues, bring your truck in for diagnostics. In 2018, certain Silverado vehicles encountered unanticipated engine stalling and malfunctions while in motion due to faulty ECM software. Fortunately, performing a software update has effectively addressed this issue for the majority of owners. General Motors responded by issuing a service update bulletin specifically for these trucks, offering complementary updates to those affected. It's important to note that a service update bulletin differs from a recall. Rather than recalling the vehicles, the manufacturer provides information to dealerships and service centers about specific vehicle problems. Typically, affected vehicle owners can receive free repairs to rectify the issue. Transmission and driveshaft issues are prevalent in this 2018 to 2020 generation of Silverado trucks. Numerous drivers have observed the problems such as abrupt forward movement or jerking while shifting and shaking or shuddering during acceleration. In extreme cases, the transmissions of these particular models would fail. Despite having their trucks repaired, some drivers reported that their problem had not improved. In certain instances, it even worsened. The 2018 model is particularly susceptible to issues related to its 8-speed transmission. In this model, the automatic transmission might unexpectedly shift down to first gear, regardless of the current driving speed. Furthermore, customers who own vehicles with 6-speed and 8-speed transmissions have encountered overheating problems, resulting in unexpected vehicle shutdowns. Your best option is to bring the truck to your dealership or mechanic for a thorough diagnosis of the problem.
The 2014 to 2018 Silverado models exhibited a seat haptic motor failure. If you encounter a driver service assist message on your dashboard, it could indicate a seat haptic motor failure. These haptic motors are positioned on either side of the driver's seat cushion and are connected to sensors located in the bumper. These sensors serve to alert the driver when their proximity to other vehicles or objects becomes too close. In many instances, the door side sensor is the culprit primarily due to its placement on the seat. While you can often address this issue by replacing the motor yourself, if the error message persists, it's advisable to seek professional assistance by taking your truck to a mechanic or dealership. When turning the steering wheel, you might notice a clunking sound or sensation coming from the steering column. This issue could be caused by a loose bolt on the frame or ball joint. Silverado trucks, regardless of their generation, tend to experience this problem around the 88,000 mile mark. Despite attempted repairs, some owners have observed that the clunking noise worsens over time. A permanent solution to this issue is to replace the steering shaft. Silverado trucks manufactured between 2014 and 2019 are particularly susceptible to experiencing strong, unexplained vibrations and wind turbulence, also referred to as body pressure booming. These vibrations typically start around 35 miles per hour and intensify at higher speeds, causing discomfort for both drivers and passengers. This issue also affects other full-size GM vehicles that utilize the K2XX platform, including the GMC Yukon, Chevy Suburban, and Cadillac Escalade. Owners have playfully dubbed it the Chevy Shake. The problem for this violent shake is stem from either a worn-down aluminum driveshaft issue or a defective hydraulic mechanism within the 8-speed transmission. Despite taking their vehicles in for multiple repairs, owners have experienced limited success in resolving the issue. The 2007 to 2013 Chevy Silverado models experienced a fuel sensor issues. Around the 100,000 mile milestone, drivers observed that their fuel level sensors would start to malfunction. In many instances, the fuel gauge would deplete more rapidly than required, creating the illusion that drivers were consuming more gas. However, there have also been reports of the fuel gauge behaving in the opposite manner. While this issue seldom compromised driver safety or truck performance, it could potentially leave drivers stranded if they unexpectedly ran out of gas during a journey. The most effective solution is to replace the sensor to permanently address this problem. Excessive oil consumption is a prevalent issue in GM trucks manufactured between 2007 and 2013. This problem arises from leaking piston rings in the 5.3-litre Vortec 5300 engine. The oil escapes through these rings and enters the combustion chamber, where it either burns off or forms carbon deposits. The questionable active fuel management or AFM system exacerbates the situation. It's likely that the AFM system contributes to the problem. Furthermore, the oil monitoring system fails to alert drivers until it's too late to prevent engine damage. Some truck owners reported burning through as much as a quart of oil in just 1,000 miles. If left unaddressed, this issue could impact other truck systems, such as the catalytic converter. For optimal results, seek professional assistance for your Silverado. The list provided above is not exhaustive, but it includes the most common issues. I trust you will find this video helpful. If you enjoy it, please consider liking and subscribing to this channel. Thank you.